We all know there are a million different ways to make a living, but on this show, we are curious about those businesses that you might not know about. We're going to take a deep dive every week and talk to a successful person in their field to learn about how they got their start and how they continue to make it in their space. Join me and learn more about the business of. Welcome to The Business Of, and today we are talking with Ryan Strong of Strong's Marine, and we are talking about the marine industry here at the beautiful Steel Point Boat Show. Um, so welcome, Ryan. Thank you Thank so you. much for coming on. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to learn a little bit more about the marine industry because Strong's Marine has been around for a while. Four you generations. Are four generations. So tell me a little bit about how you guys have evolved as a company and how you got involved. Um, yeah, it's a pretty interesting <laughs> story. Yeah, 1945, my great grandfather started uh, what would be a real mom and pop's uh, little boat shop in uh, Lindenhurst on Long Island. Okay. And you know, it continued to evolve and added uh, more clients, more boat brands, and we uh, chose to expand, move out towards the east end of Long Island, uh, which my grandfather then and my dad also started to expand in more opportunity, more boat brands, and uh, you know, plenty more facilities. So it's, it's been a long, uh, nice journey, but, yeah. and the journey continues every day. So four generations, you're the fourth. Yes. How did you get involved with, I mean, it's yeah. probably always been in your blood, but sure. tell me a little yeah. bit about your story of getting involved. Yeah, so growing up, you know, <laughs> as a kid, uh, obviously with the business, you know, my parents were both very hard workers within the business, and you know, traveling sports and so forth outside of the business, but, um, you know, thankfully I worked a fuel dock, you know, met plenty of clients and brought ice down to clients' boats and did the boat rental fleets and anything around the water to honestly make money for myself and also learn, you know, what our family's businesses have been. Um, but at the same time, you know, inspired to do other things outside of the business and had my eyes open, but there was always something that brought us back to the life on the water. And thankfully to this day, I've been able to grow with my, my two kids um, and also understand why we do this. So it's, it's been a pleasure, thankfully. So you grew up doing it. Have you, you said you had your eye on the outside for a little bit. So yep. do, have you always worked at Strong's Marine or was there a time where you took a little bit of time yeah. away? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, we definitely did take some time away. I worked, whether it be for an auto body company, okay. um, aspired to do that, worked with some architecture people as well, because I do enjoy building. Um, and then also from a property development side, I very much love to develop our properties and, and or others. I just, I like to build things and, and grow things with other people, so. Um, but again, boat world always <laughs> sucks me back in, so. I can't imagine why. It doesn't yeah. seem idyllic around here at <laughs> yeah, all. It's very tough, <laughs> you know. Even when it rains, it's still sunny out, so. And how is working with your father? He is still the president of the company and yep. yeah like how does that relationship yeah, working so, relationship yeah so <laughs> as most could imagine you know a family business can definitely have its challenging times but one thing we have collectively worked hard on is uh, both my parents um, you know work on our relationship together in the business outside the business learning how to speak to one another uh, which can definitely have its challenges, but once you, one day it just hit, you know, hey, if I would like to talk to my father, address him, hey, I have a personal thing I'd like to talk to you about, and otherwise, it's business things I'm gonna talk to you about. And once that came about and we hit it, it's been a success and, you know, pretty much easy going <laughs> from uh, then on, which we're very fortunate to have, and, and he would say the same. That's was not cool. always Mary, but <laughs> thankfully uh, it's grown to be good. That's awesome. I mean, I think anybody, especially not that I work with my parents, but can always, I have, I actually interned for my dad at one okay. point and that was a very interesting summer. And so I can only imagine working day to day with my parents would be yeah. a very interesting relationship to navigate. 
Maybe because we have uh, <laughs> roughly 180 full-time employees, maybe we're uh, stretched apart a little bit. But That's so nice. we both have uh, people that we oversee. And, okay. And so, so you like look at different parts of the business. Yes. A little yeah. bit. Thankfully, we collaborate on pretty much everything. But yeah. on a day-to-day, -day, we might not interact as much as one <laughs> thinks, but uh, which probably keeps it even better. But we have an excellent working relationship, and uh, we'll continue to. Um, as you know, the adventures continue. Yeah. So. so Strong's Marine does a lot within the marine industry. Can yep. you tell me a little bit about what you guys do and sure. how, the, I mean, it's evolved over many, many years, but what are you guys currently involved in? Yeah, so thankfully, what makes our business unique um, is our locations that span across the Northeast and uh, focus on Long Island but the the depth within the marine industry that we play in which is honestly everything uh, the we charter we sell we broker we service you know we do uh, even daily boat rentals um, we also take care of the facilities that we own um, we're involved truly in every aspect of the boating and yachting industry and uh, that allows us to have excellent and deep relationships with our clients, um, makes referrals maybe not easy but, you know, impactful. Um, and, you know, thankfully we're going to continue to grow and what a side note though is it also makes us uh, be able to withstand the tough times, whether it be a recession or even employee challenges that most businesses, no matter what it is, uh, are facing. Yeah. It allows us to bounce, whether it be employees between locations, um, it, or if others meet spouses that might be closer <laughs> to a different location. You know, it's, it gives yeah. us flexibility within our um, multiple locations, and thankfully, that's why that's what we look at and why we've uh, been around a long time, and thankfully have a, a, a strong relationship. So. We're going to go to a quick commercial break and we'll be right back with Ryan Strong. Welcome back to the business of, and today we are talking about the business of the marine industry here with Ryan Strong of Strong's Marine. Um, so, you know, Strong's Marine is involved in a, a lot of different aspects of the marine industry. Like, what is your favorite part about what you do? Yeah. Great question. Definitely, you know, getting on the water, everybody would say. Um, but, <laughs> That's which, the easy one. <laughs> yeah, correct. One check. Um, it's definitely, you know, getting people on the water. Actually, it has its challenges. Many people, you know, throughout the, the nation don't understand why, you know, and that once you get somebody to give you a minute of their time, to you know explain truly why people do it that's the that's the enjoyable part um, it sometimes does come at a price boating <laughs> is not cheap but um, you know there's no price tag on a memory that you'll have for truly the rest of your life and uh, we have clients that tell us that i remember taking my kids out you know teaching them how to wake surf wakeboard doing you know even just hanging out on the mooring it's uh you can't take those long-lasting memories away, and something about boating does that. And uh, even though you go on a vacation to a nice, you know, beach or island destination, mm -hmm. it's short last um, compared to long-lasting for uh, the boating world, and that's what we love about it. And you know, yeah, we're very passionate about it. Um, we we really want clients to understand why not only strong team members all do this, but why people in general join in the boating world and get, you know, get on a boat and yacht and, and travel. Um, it, it, it is exciting. So. Yeah. I mean, it seems like you, well, I don't know. It feels like when, when you get the bug, you get the bug and like you get out on the water and you're just like, yes, this is the best yeah. thing. I want to keep doing this and keep doing this. Yeah. Clients <laughs> usually tell you that right after they purchase. And sit, <laughs> They go out for their first boat ride and with the family all ready to go, they're excited and they come back, they had an excellent day. First questions usually are, so like, so is the larger one available? You know, uh, I didn't realize I needed to have a bigger boat so fast. And sure enough, they, you know, next season, they have that larger boat in their slip. 
And then as the seasons go, they have the larger ones. And <laughs> But at the same time, as the kids develop and they have their own little boat that they take out, and mm -hmm. then they go off to school or start to do their own thing. You know, they you, you go down in size and more yeah. manageable. It starts uh, all over yeah, again, the process yeah. of building up. And then it, but then it transitions to, hey, mom and dad are out on the anchor and why don't you bring your boat with your family and tie up next to us. And it, it, it's, uh, it is, it's a special thing, the boating world. And, you know, we're here to just embrace it and make, yeah. make people educated on it, so. Very cool. Well, switching gears a little bit, I'd love to hear from you, uh, like, what has been a risk that you've taken in the business sure. that has paid off better than you anticipated? Yeah, so, it's a tough question. <laughs> um, so, beyond just the, the, the lifestyle and the dream, there is a financial standpoint yeah. beyond boating. So, yeah. uh, from, a, from the marina owners, marinas are very expensive to upkeep. The properties are a big risk. Um, you know, if you build it, we hope they come. <laughs> so it's, uh, you know, we have purchased plenty of properties throughout and every property, unless it's a standalone business that's very successful that you purchase, mm -hmm. which most of the time they are not, because why would they sell? Right. Um, you know, there's a, a heavy risk involved, um, whether it be true, you know, getting customers to the property, you know, yeah. get, growing it, building it, bulkheading, you know, docks, everything is expensive and getting people to do it is expensive. We've thankfully rolled the dice on 11 other properties uh, wow. throughout our, you know, lifestyle and they have all been a growing success and, and we continue to look to add. So thankfully, you know, I can say they've paid off, but not without a lot of long nights, you know, uh, sometimes no nights and yeah. just, um, Definitely a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, and then it ultimately comes down to uh, the teammates that you surround yourself with that have made it enjoyable. Sometimes at the same time, you're struggling, so. <laughs> and can you tell me about a time where you took the, you took a risk in the business that hasn't worked out the way you anticipated? That was sure. more of a learning experience. Um, I can speak on uh, whether it be the taking on a new boat brand or yacht brand. Okay. Um, you know, there's a lot of risk involved from a dealership standpoint. Mm. We have to purchase the boats. Oh. A lot of people don't know that. So oh. We I are, didn't know that. Yeah. So we're ultimately rolling the dice, and okay. um, so during the interview process that we do on the manufacturers, you know, it's. It's beneficial yeah. to do very much your due diligence, which is kind of common sense, but um, it doesn't always pan out. You know, the, the brands aren't, it's not just up to the, the relationships that we might have with the brands. It also has, they have, uh, you know, their own economics. Yeah. We've purchased uh, and, and joined partnerships with companies overseas. You know, it's not U.S. economy. It can be <laughs> the, up to their own things, and there's been uh, times that it's not going so well. You know, and things that are outside of our control. And but it's a risk that you take, and uh, you know, nothing beats a partnership that you can uh, hopefully, come, you know, win-win. Yeah. Uh, but there's been some that haven't. So <laughs> I've learned from it. <laughs> so. Well, that's the good thing. I yeah. mean learning experiences, yeah. not failures, right? No, That's how correct. we reframe it these days. Well, it comes down to a relationship, <laughs> so. It's true, very true. Yep. Well, we're gonna take another quick break and we will be right back with Ryan Strong. Welcome back to the business of, and today we're talking about the business of the marine industry with Ryan Strong of Strong's Marine. So I want to touch a little bit about how the pandemic has kind of changed up the boating industry and how it, you know, when it first happened, what was your reaction? Like <laughs> everything locked down. Yeah. What were you guys thinking? What were you thinking? Yeah. So like anything like that, you remember <laughs> where you were and what you were doing. And uh, honestly, I just woke up, turned on the TV and, whoa, what's going on out here? And we uh, so as the couple days progressed, and the you know two, first honestly two weeks, 
um, from a manufacturer standpoint, who we buy our product from, you know, phone is ringing off the hook. What's going to happen? Are you still going to continue your orders? And um, thankfully, you know, uh, my dad coached me on this that, mm -hmm. you know, people remember, you know, if you cancel orders, when times become good, they'll remember you canceled on me. So we, true. we as a company chose to cancel nothing. Wow. Um, thankfully, we did do, uh, <laughs> did not cancel anything because in about another month and a half, yeah. And like the May Memorial Day time, people started to say, hey, I can boat. I can do that. I don't have to wear a mask on the water. Oh, okay. And maybe we'll try it. Yeah. And then they told all their friends and then everybody decided <laughs> to try, you know, boating, uh, which then led thankfully into uh, a couple good, really, uh, really good years of boating activity, boat purchases, you know, boat charters, rentals. That, everything to do within uh, again the marine industry um, that we still feel today and we're very blessed but listen that everything that we're about getting people on the water and uh, really cherishing the moments out there it's it, it was a you know foot was on the gas big time accelerator <laughs> and but still to this day we get asked about hey through the pandemic i bought a boat you know Oh, I'm sure they're going to sell it because now they're not going to use it. We have not seen people have sold boats right. because they want bigger ones, but <laughs> or different ones. But people have not just been selling boats or yachts just to get out of bit boating because I did that for two years. Now I'm over it. That was a, you know, a fad because of the pandemic. They, you know, you look around the marina, it's full. Yeah. And uh, it's going to continue. And thankful, very thankful. <laughs> but. Yeah, it's been very scared, scary for, uh, you know, the first couple months. And yeah. then I have friends that aren't in the marine business, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you're loving it, aren't you? <laughs> well, it's, you know, <laughs> we're doing okay. But yeah. there will be a time that we won't be doing okay. And, mm -hmm. you know, we need to weather the storm and we'll continue. But, yeah, it's uh, nerve-wracking. But thankfully, our, uh, our business and our industry nationwide was able to uh, endure. So, but... I don't need to go through it again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody does. No. I think we're, we're, we're good. Hope so. Yeah, <laughs> very much hope so. And where do you see Strong Marine going in the future? Yeah, so we're continuing to grow. Um, always looking at opportunities, whether it be a new manufacturer, other facilities, mm -hmm. um, outside, uh, whether it be the Northeast. Constantly looking, you know, we're, we're here to spread the boating passion um, through our philosophy and you know of, of again factoring in great service not just great manufacturers that's that's what we stand for so and uh, our staff members can tell you you know they're here because <laughs> they want to see the smiles on everybody's faces when they untie the untie the line so that's awesome but, well i mean it, i think it's a true testament to it being a fourth generation business like you guys have been around you've learned and you've always stood by this customer service mentality of getting people on the water and I think yeah, it definitely, definitely comes through. Going to continue. <laughs> if my kids would like to do it, the door is open, but they'll have to earn it just like we did. So Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Well, thank you so much yeah, for being on you. the Business of. It's been really eye-opening to learn a little bit more about the marine industry. Yeah, happy to share. Thank you.